man on TV. You talking like you turned up, you really TD. It's your one and your one. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Moments away, it'll be the Phoenix Suns going up against the Los Angeles Lakers. With Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, I'm Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. It's no secret that they are off to a super difficult start. Very rough beginning, Mike. How do you turn things around if you're coaching the team like this? I think it's about trying to keep things simple, taking it one game at a time and trying to find ways to gradually improve. And knowing it's a long marathon. I mean, there's nothing short about the season. A lot of games to play. There's time to work these things out. And sometimes the games are your learning situations rather than practices, which are hard to come by nowadays. That's a good point. And out of bounds as the Lakers gain possession. Here's Threat. To the inside. Worthy with the bucket. You know, one of the things I like about James Worthy's game is he doesn't take bad shots. He really focuses on getting high percentage shots. Now, here's Johnson. They really need more from him in that loss to the Clippers. West a screen on Johnson. Here's Ainge. Makes it off the glass. Well, pretty good balance that time for Maine. Sometimes it seems like he's kind of preferring to finish through contact. That was the 2K drive, as that move deserved another look. Aggressive take there to get inside. Looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. Here's Johnson. 11 points last game. The pass to Worthy. Over Marley. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Worthy's got his second bucket of the night. A red-hot beginning to this game. Well, he's a real good offensive player, so they want to get him going early. Barkley against Perkins. And the basket good by Barkley. Beautiful reverse using his body to shield the finish. Nicely done. The Lakers have gotten their first three shots to go in for him to start off this game. Johnson, the pass to Worthy. Finished off by Worthy. This team wants Magic making the decisions. Simply special with the ball in his hands. Johnson kicks to Marley. Pass to Ainge. High post shot. Another one falls for Phoenix. He saw his opportunity and went right into attack mode. He'll take those mid-range openings whenever they're presented. And to see him doing it at the start of the game is very encouraging for his team. Now, here's Worthy. He's got six. Johnson outside. Pocket six. Three. And the shot goes in. You know, they'll be looking for more of that. An easy layup right there. Always nice to get a few easy ones early in the game to build a rhythm. Out to the right wing. Here's Barkley. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. First the Suns shooting their first free throws of this. The line for your Suns. Barkley. Two shots. Shooting two. And that one misses. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Eldon Campbell, he's checked in for Divox. Neely comes in for Perkins. Teagle, he's checked in for James Worthy. And it's Scott in for three. And the second free throw, good. 
And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Lakers. It's a three-point game. Scott with the screen on Ainge. And the basket by Johnson. Magic Johnson. You know, you don't get to see the hook shot too often these days. Everybody wants to shoot threes. Nice to see a guy go back to the future with the hook. Now here's Marlon. Johnson up top. Fires high post. And that's good for two. Normally, Johnson is the one setting others up. This time, KJ gets the pass. Scott against Johnson. Passes to Johnson. And he converts the layup. Johnson's got his second bucket. Love the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball inside and outside action. On the wing, Johnson. Defended by Scott. Barkley with a screen on Scott. Johnson and the Suns tack on two more. Inside the arc, Johnson is a confident shooter. He knows he has the mid-range shot down. Outside, Scott. 56 seconds left to play in the first. And Magic Johnson, the bucket on the assist by Scott. Johnson's got six points. It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Screen by Barkley. Johnson, the pass to Barkley. Back to Johnson. Shot on the wing. And the shot is long. Tell you what, guys, you don't see that often. I mean, when he's this open, usually it's lights out. Johnson, that's for two. Can't nail the jumper. Got some space in the mid-range, but wasn't able to convert. Still, not a bad chance for him. Pass to Johnson. 15 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Rebound by Johnson. Shoots over Barkley. Again, the miss by Johnson. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Lakers lead by five. And don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. enjoyed the broadcast so far halfway through the first half in this one and some stats here guys the scoring breakdown for the Lakers Suns trail by five left side Knight over to the left wing and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Los Angeles leading by five. Left side worthy. Foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. One big change in the NBA last year, Coach, was the flagrant foul rule. I think it was an improvement. The league had to do something to scale back the physicality. Guys aren't getting mauled inside as much. We can probably call this one the Lambeer rule. <laughs> we should. <laughs> well said. Free throw drops for Worthy. Finding a six foot nine guy who moves like Worthy, rare. That's why he was a first overall pick. And both free throws good for Worthy. Phoenix with the ball. They trail by seven. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. 
Chambers the pass to Mustaf. They set the pick. Burt. And that one's on target from the wing. You know, I think they've got to show a little more anticipation dealing with these screens because right now they're just laying on them and getting stuck. Look, you have to go over the top or duck under. Right now, they're seemingly trying to go through the screen. Scott, that one a tad offline to the right, but drops in for me. Scott's got the lead up to seven now for the Lakers. Knight looking for an opening. Bobbed up there for Green and stolen by Worthy. And he makes good on the layup. James Worthy. Worthy's got four points now in the quarter. You know, Worthy's a capable shooter and has a really good sense for when he should take his shot. Suns. You know, I can imagine the coach is giving them an earful about what's happening in the paint. They've got to clean that up. Yeah, their interior defense has been too easy to crack. Time to get physical down low. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Suns moving the ball around. Six to shoot. Knight passes to Green. And stolen by Worthy. Now the pass to three. Screen by Perkins. Shoots from the line. Second chance shot, and the layup is up and in. And the Lakers lead by 11. Great work on the offensive glass that time from Divac, using his size and timing. So important in rebounding to his advantage. Now here's Knight. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Chambers. Can't hit from in close. Lakers leading by 11. And for those of you just joining us in the second quarter with about three minutes gone by, the feed to Divac. Here's Threat. He's guarded by Knight. Divac sets a screen. For the three. And shot off. The Suns go the other way with it. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there.
And that game went the distance as they fell short in overtime. Tough to put that much effort into a game and still notch a loss. But at times, that's how it goes. Green, no luck. And this is the type of shot they want. Coming up empty there, but I won't be shocked if they try to go back to this. Always going up for the alley-oop here. It's worthy missing. They both saw the lob open up, but it just didn't quite ferment for them. A little misread on the timing. Not sure who mixed it up, but they'll get it straight next time. Now, here is Knight. Here's Chambers trying to end the drought, and he stops it. What a pass to set him up. Coming off that pick, had all the separation he needed. And once he got that separation, Clark, there was no stopping him. And he capitalized with the emphatic finish. Timeout called the Lakers. Suns with a completely new group on the floor. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Eldon Campbell, he's checked in for Divac. Neely comes in for Perkins. Teagle, he's checked in for James Worthy. And it's Johnson in for Threet. And uh, 101 left in the first half of basketball. Johnson against Scott. Pass to Johnson. Here's Teagle. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Four on the shot clock. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. The story of their offense so far has been just that. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. 29 seconds left to play in the first half. And here's Marley outside. Suns keep it alive. And the basket good by Barkley. You know, I think when you give up second chance points, a lot of it comes down to simply a lack of effort. Yeah, it's simple. A key part of playing good defense is limiting the offense to one shot. And that starts with boxing out. Johnson surveying the floor. Here's Scott. And he got that one up in time, but doesn't go in. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers team in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're feeling very confident, shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. James Worthy having a dominant impact in this game. Love the way he makes those sharp, relentless cuts to the rim. He's been a major thorn in the defensive side. No question. I expect him to keep knifing inside as much as he can. This is how aggressive a player he is. And if you're just joining us in this one, first half is in the books. One half to go. Johnson right side. From the baseline. A putback. It's good on the putback. Love the effort. Absolutely love it. Keeping the play alive with his activity. Johnson outside. Driving the lane. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Johnson's got eight points. Outstanding speed at his position. Magic blows past the defender through the lane that time. 
And another great look at the 2K drive. The energy and focus on display. Saw an opportunity to get inside, and they continue to build this lead. Now here's Johnson. Six points for him. Here's Barkley. And the dunk by Mark West. That very well could be a turning point, making their presence felt on the offensive glass. Yeah, you know, refusing to quit on plays. Let's see if this spurs a comeback. They need every bucket they can get right now, that's for sure. Suns trail by seven. Ainge dishes to Barkley. And Barkley throws it down hard. Solid pass by Ainge. The moment he sees a guy ready to score, he starts working on getting him the ball. Here's Threat. He feeds it to Johnson. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It's on Danny Ainge. At 6'9 and pretty much a point, Magic Johnson is such a unique player. This is his first chance at the line tonight. He was absolutely lights out from the stripe in their last game. One after another, they were going in. Simply great free throw shooting. The first one falls. Well, pretty much the perfect point guard. If there is such a thing, Magic has incredible passing skills, great size, unbelievable vision, plus leadership qualities that make him CEO-like. And he makes the first, but misses the second. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Suns. Six-point game. Shot from 12. Lakers with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Johnson against Ainge. And the Lakers with another miss. Suns have gone three of six in the third quarter. 50% from the field. Johnson outside. Back to Barkley. Off target with the fadeaway. Los Angeles leading by six. Worthy with it. He's got 10 inside. Here's Divots. Lays it up and banks it in. Divots has got his third basket of the night right there. Good luck with that. Divots so tough to deal with in the paint. Passes it to Marley. The jump hook. Perkins pulls it in. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of four here to start the second half. Worthy outside. Pass to three. Johnson outside. Beyond the arc. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. West has got four rebounds now tonight. Offensively, Clark, things have sort of fallen apart for him. And they need to recover as soon as possible. Up top, Barkley kicks it to Mark. To stop the drought. And the Suns miss again. Lakers leading by eight. Three, the pass to Johnson. Now here's defense. The pass to Worthy. Shot from 12. Almost, but it rolls out. The Suns shooting well. 50% for the floor. Here's Barkley. Phoenix, no good that time either. Lakers shooting has been outstanding in this game at 58%. Worthy, the pass to three. Divots with it. The Lakers moving the ball around. Here's Johnson. He scores his fifth field goal. He's taken nine shots to get those five. Amongst the best passing centers in the game, Divots always knows where to move the rock. Pass to Martin. Passes it to Ainge. The three. 
And out of bounds is Los Angeles Kings possession. Some changes for Phoenix. Rambis is checked in for West. Dumas comes in for Barkley. And it's Sabalos in for Danny Ainge. A big group substitution here for the Lakers. Eldon Campbell, he's checked in for Divox. Neely comes in for Perkins. Teagle, he's checked in for James Worthy. And it's Scott in for Johnson. We've got 22 seconds left in the third. Here's Teagle. Four on the clock. And no good that time. Now here's Marley. So it's the Los Angeles Lakers going into the break with a 10-point lead. A good size advantage, and they'll look to increase it. We've got more in store for you right after this. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Los Angeles leading by 10. Here's three. Pass to Teagle. And here is Campbell. Back to Scott. And the pass to Teagle. From beyond the arc. Passes it to three. Pass to Scott. Here's three. Back to Scott. Pass to Teagle. Three. Off target with his three. Suns trail by ten. Johnson surveying the floor. The pass to Dumas. Shoots over Scott. That one off the back iron and out. He had space to operate inside, but just couldn't get it to fall. Here's Teagle. Passes to Campbell. Teagle the pass to three. Outside, Scott. Pass to three. Over Johnson. Tips it up. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Campbell's got the lead up to 12 now for the Lakers. Boy, cleaned the glass nicely, and Campbell put it right back up and down. And the Suns call time. We've got a moment here. Let's present our player of the game, James Worthy. Well, his ability to penetrate in this one has really been something special, making the defense really look helpless as he was able to get inside time and time again. Not that it's easy to stop a guy with his ball skill and agility, but boy, did he make it look easy. They had lost two straight coming into this one, and he knew he needed to put his foot down. He's shown leadership tonight, getting them back on the winning track. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Well, guys, over the last break, I listened to Phoenix's coach talk to the team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. we got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Okay, David, much appreciated. Here's Johnson. 
It's rebounded by West. West has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Marley passes to Barton. Rebounded by the Lakers. Johnson outside. To the paint. And the dunk by Worthy. This has been a really hot game for Worthy. He just keeps attacking on the offensive end, as well he should. Coach, they're ice cold on the offensive end. Well, something has to change. Now, here is Barkley. Off target with the jump hook. This is what happens to streaky shooters. He couldn't miss in the first half, and now he can't buy one. And finished off by Worthy. Love the communication on this play. Worthy knows the ball is coming and gets there for the alley-oop right on time. Ainge against Johnson. Ainge kicks to Johnson. West setting the pick for Johnson. Dan Marley on the wing. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Phoenix needs to get off a shot. The offensive rebound. Shots good by Barkley. It's never easy trying to keep him off the glass. He's an absolute beast down there. And the Lakers call time here. They're up by 14. 151 left in the fourth quarter. And Los Angeles with some changes. Perkins comes in for Eldon Camp. And Threets subbed in for Byron Scott. One fifty one left in the fourth. Worthy down low. Barkley's there. It's Worthy missing. Suns trail by 14. Barkley kicks to Johnson. Barkley tips it back in. Barkley's got four this quarter. Gets his body in position for the tip and then uses a soft touch to guide it in. Los Angeles has gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Ainge against Johnson. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Danny Ainge. Johnson is excellent at keeping defenses off balance, which is why they resort to fouling. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one drops. Yeah. 
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. This offseason, 10 teams making coaching changes, Mike, and uh, the most in a few years. What do you think about this trend? Yeah, believe me, I'm very familiar with it. <laughs> Owners are impatient. They want winners now. So if you don't deliver quick, get that resume refreshed. So how would you approach a job? Win now, or do you want to build, or do you get the assurance? Like, there's so many different factors here, the way you could, as a coach, you know, go. I would say that when you're in a meeting with your owner and general manager and they're telling you how they have great patience and they want to see you build this program, I think you nod your head yes up and down. When you walk out of the room, you say to yourself, I've got to win games right away. <laughs> Nothing to try and be opposite of those guys, but they sometimes have short memories when it gets to the end of the year and the fans are impatient and the media is on you they make a change rather than remember that long-term plan they talked about. Good insight. Here's three. He kicks to Worthy. Pass to Divac. And the layup's good off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 14. How quiet is this arena? It's like the mute button was turned on in here. I think the fans are a bit shocked. Their squad got run out of the gym. The shake. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Here's three. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business That's here. The Coach, they're going to take this road win. The fans here tonight will leave disappointed. But for the visiting team, a big one. They stayed sharp when it counted and were able to gut out a win. And that about wraps it up for Mike Fratello. Clark Kellogg and David Aldridge and our entire 2K crew. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for tuning in. And we'll see you next time.